This is C Knows the Painter, and today I have with me... Uh, hey guys, it's me, Ian the Merman, from Ian the Merman, and uh, we're here to discuss the Nintendo Direct that was announced March 3rd, 2016. Sweet. So, overall, I think this Direct was okay. Oh yeah, it was some... a very meh Direct. Yeah, it had some really good things and some things I don't and some things I honestly don't know much about, so... Mm hmm Yeah. JRPGs are just not my thing. Except for Fates, I like that game. Mm hmm So, what, what's first on our agenda? Uh, we're gonna be talking about Star Fox Zero, because that was the first thing. We're just gonna go down the list of everything they announced. Everything that interested us, at least. Uh, yeah. so yeah, Star, so Star Fox Zero... Um, not a huge Star Fox fan myself, but what, from from what I could pick up, uh, Miyamoto had mentioned that both the story and map structure are new. Um, honestly, the game itself though is pretty pretty good looking for a Wii U game. I mean, my initial reaction watching it in 480p because my internet speed was, I mean, it still <laughs> looked really good. Oh yeah, it looked amazing. Oh. I watched it at work, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks it looks amazing, and uh, it has it plays. I played through the original Star Fox sixty four. I played through one of the stories because there's multiple endings, I guess. But I beat the game, and it the first level looks just like the first level from sixty four. Yeah, so, it is quite a bummer that the game itself is still in 64 because I feel like with this the 3ds remake and the original you just we don't we don't have a new Star Fox experience it's all the same really but that being said yeah. the controls well, itself exactly. is what makes the game different mm -hmm. yeah they have the gamepad view and then the, where you can view from the cockpit and then they have just the standard but they also have the transforming which they showed off at e3 where you can transform into those little walkers. Mm hmm Speaking of the cockpit and, and all of that, they, they kind of glanced over this, but apparently, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's some sort of multiplayer mode in the game where one player who has the gamepad controls, you know, shooting and is basically in the cockpit mode while the yeah. other player has the Wii U Pro Controller and moves the ship, which is, um... Interesting. Great. I mean, I'm I, I'm sure if they're doing it based off of Star Fox 64, I, I think I I hope they add a multiplayer mode. <laughs> yeah. They, it'd be really easy to do. I mean, you have those all range. I just feel like if they were going to, because they said that it's the game is done. Like they Miyamoto said, this game is done. It is out for testing and localizing. So yeah. the fact that like another game. Yeah, we'll get to that later. So, the fact that they didn't show off a multiplayer mode, I mean, it's not like they're going to be showing this game off at E3, it should be out by then. So I feel like if there was going to be a multiplayer mode, they would have revealed it by now. Yeah. Which, yeah, I... It's not like I was going to play it with anyone. Release. They don't want to announce everything before the game comes out, just the kids. That would... Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's something in there for people to be like, oh, there's this. Oh, yeah. But I feel like if they chose to show multiplayer mode and present it as a way of, oh, you control the same vehicle, one just controls the cockpit, I feel like well, they could have presented that better in, by showing off what the core of multiplayer would be. I have a lot. There, there still isn't much information on Star Fox Zero, because they basically kind of told us more of the same thing just amiibo support which but yeah uh, that's right but the i think we might get a star fox zero direct later on just i mean it's possible it's, we got a splatoon direct and we had a po yeah. six minute pokemon direct yeah and we had a smash brothers and a hyrule warriors and they do game specific directs which i those i find the best thank you sandra Mobis, for the 50 facts extravaganza <laughs> Best yeah. direct ever. <laughs> the only reason I could see us not getting a direct is because this is 
I mean, so let's 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 be honest here. It's coming out hopefully next month, and it's basically a Star Fox 64 HD remake. So Xander, to touch upon your uh, the amiibo support, I don't know if I heard this correctly. Is it the Star Fox amiibo line, or is it just Fox itself? That um, I think it's just Fox. Cause yeah, Falco, that's what I Falco's thought. Falco's not out yet, I don't think. Or that's true. Yeah. Be... No, it's not for North America. So anyway, the amiibo support in Star Fox Zero is it turns the vehicle you ride into the R wing from the original N64, and it changes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, the effects. Not not from the N64, from the Super Nintendo. The oh. original. All the Ooh. way back to the original. Here we go. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, I honestly, I haven't played it myself, but I, I do like the retro feel to it. I know. It, it actually looks really good, despite it being basically the same thing. It just updated a little on the, it's on the Wii U. We've come a ways. But mm. I know this may not be in order, but... Speaking of Super Nintendo, we also have uh, Super Nintendo games coming to the 3DS eShop for uh, uh, the new 3DS only. So but. Yeah, I was watching the Direct with Guylan and whenever my older brother who owns a 3DS, so when we got to that point, he was very pissed off because he couldn't play his Super Nintendo games on his 3DS. Oh, I can but yeah, three new 3DS owners. It's I mean no problem with them, but I feel like that I don't understand the limitation because people have been able to play three uh, in SNES games on their 3DS via Homebrew. What's the difference? Um, firmware. It, I guess that stuff uses a different firmware. Technically, the 3DS and new 3DS can run Game Boy Advance games as well. But it, it mm -hmm. uses a different firmware and has to load like basically a Game Boy Advance on your 3DS. But anyway, that's not what, what we're talking. What about. I think <laughs> is pretty cool about the SNES is that it is pixel perfect, is what they had said. Mm -hmm. So everything's gonna like crisp and clear. Yeah. So that'll be neat. And right now on the Nintendo eShop, Pilot Wings, Super Mario World, and F Zero are available. And down the line, Earthbound, Super Mario Kart, and a link Donkey to the Kong past. Country, Link to the Past. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Super Metroid and Donkey Kong Country Two will be available in the future. I I would say the dates, but eh. I don't remember them. <laughs> but anyway, sort of come back to Star Fox Zero. We forgot to mention something. Uh. There's another Star Fox game, like Slippy and his uncle, grandpa? Captain Captain Slippy, uh, Treasure Trackers. <laughs> kind of. More like tower defense game or something for Wii U that you can get bundled. I I bet I, I don't think it's going to be charged as a full game. But you can get it in a, in a bundle, or you can buy it separate on the eShop. So. Yeah, I think, I don't know if this is true or not, but... From watching the game explain uh, discussion video, what I think it is is Star Fox Zero is going to be fifty dollars uh, digitally, and you can buy the expansion for like an extra ten dollars to get the game. But I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. I'll if that's the that case, up. that's that's the most fair way to go about it, because you know if you don't do that, then why even get the digital version if the retail version has an entire extra game added on top of it? Yeah. One last thing on Star Fox Zero, there's possibly a new character since I, I'm not too, I don't play too much Star Fox, I've played Star Fox Adventures for the GameCube, and I played through the original N64. And so, uh, forgive me if I get this wrong, but Cat the Fox, I think, is possibly a new character. They didn't mention anything about it, but from what I've looked up, I can't find any info on a pink fox named Cat, but... They, they yeah, we'll be sure to do more research about that post production on the video. So if yeah. we're wrong, we'll be I'd able probably to put ourselves. something in the video saying whether I found proof or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what's all right. The next topic. Moving from yeah, moving from Star Fox, they then carry on to talk about a Splatoon update, oh, which yeah. was very very underwhelming. But yeah. yeah. Basically, what they touched upon, matchmaking for ranked battles will be improved. Um, 
Surprised he didn't mention that you could switch out your weapons. Uh, you know, that's still not a thing. I still, uh, don't, I still don't get that. Uh, they said lesser used gear will get buffed so that it's like everything is just as good as everything else. New splat uh, fest elements. Yeah, I'm interested all... to see that. See what they do. Now, I mean, yeah. If they can make Splat Fest interesting again, make it that's where good. we can play online with friends. Yeah, do ranked battles and during stuff during Splat Fest, so you don't have, so you can just play with your friends and not do. Eh. Well, I think you can always do private battles during Splat Fest. You can do private battles, but no one wants to do a one-on-one -on -one match. <laughs> well. Xander, some people in the world have, have more, more friends, friends than friends. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all three of those things will be coming out next week on March 8th. And then they said throughout April, sometime throughout April, they'll have two volumes of updates, which will include brand new gear with the different combinations of underrated and fan favorite combinations of abilities. Which I guess is going to be cool. I feel like they've been doing that, and I don't honestly see the difference in them doing this and what they've been doing. But I guess it's great to see more free content coming to the game regardless. One thing I do like about that is if you look at the uh, seal of approval that they have, it's based off the Nintendo seal of approval. Just with, uh, was it Sheldon, the shop owner's face on it. Ah, that's nice. So it's a little neat touch. I caught that, but... Uh, yeah, really. That's other all... than that, though. Splatoon didn't get too much. Just they didn't get too much in the direct. It was like thirty seconds or something. Yeah, it wasn't much. Mm -hmm. But all right, Mario and Sonic at the Ryu 2016 Olympic Games. What do you got to say about it? Um, <laughs> I loved the first one as much as I could. When I mean. I thought it was amazing at first because it's like, oh my gosh, it's Mario and Sonic in the same video game. Then Super Smash Bros. Brawl came out and that just took over. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, this had a huge emphasis on the two franchises, though. Yeah, that, that was huge, but now I think it's just, okay, that's cool. How many games are going to be in this series before they stop? Because the Olympics are going to go on. I would Forever. like to think that the Wii U will be the end of all the bad franchises. Yeah. Um, uh. Which I guess is great. Honestly, to to be fair, the trailer was pretty cool. Yeah. And I think it's this game looks like it can be the best in the series. Yeah. I, I was a huge fan of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Oh the, the my first gosh. one that came I out. I love that one. Yeah, that was epic. I loved how you can customize everything, give different costumes. I don't know, everything about that... I probably just liked it because it had Radical Highway, but everything about it was really fun. Yeah, and the, uh, from what I heard, the problems with the uh, uh, Rio... Or not Rio, uh, what was it? The London. London, London and Sochi Olympic and Winter Olympic, they were kind of the same as the first ones. Like, they didn't mm -hmm. really add a lot new. And this time, this one seems to have a ton of new sports. Yeah, and also the the difference in release dates. I noticed uh, 3DS is coming out in March, and what was it? Uh, yeah, March 18th for the 3DS, and Wii U is coming out June 24th. Yeah, that's kind of far apart, but eh. I guess 3DS is easier to make, and I'm just hoping that the 3DS one isn't as bad as the other 3DS and DS ports have been. Yeah. Because everyone knows that the Wii U and Wii versions have always been superior. But, you know, Smash has proven that you can have a great experience oh, on a yes. 3DS. Yes, you can. So if, yeah, so if they're able to port the game to the 3DS and it's still fun, you know. I think they should have that online would be good. play. That would be mm -hmm. fun. But, eh. Yeah, not much to talk about in that game. They really just showed off a trailer, and if I really wanted to go super anal analyze the trailer, I would. But it's yeah. just not a game that interests me that much. I mean, we have but something that we have sticks and uh, the deadly six. He in for some reason Sonic Riders characters. Oh yeah, Jet the yes, Hawk has been Jet, 
yeah. promoted from boss character to playable character. Which makes me wish that they would make a Sonic Riders HD remake, but... Well, we did. It's yeah. called Sonic Free Riders. Oh my god. <clears throat> anyway, what's next? Alright, so carrying on from that, they talked about Super Mario Maker's update, which well, I honestly got... This is one of the highlights for the trailer, which I don't... For the direct, which I don't know if it's a great thing, because it was a small announcement. announcement. Mm -hmm. But... To go in order, to start off, they mentioned that if you shake a thwomp, it will transform into a skier from Super Mario Maker, not or, uh, World. Super Mario World. <laughs> um, so that's cool. Oh, that's you know, going to that make for some super rage-worthy levels. Oh yeah, I'm sure some people will put it like behind a bunch of blocks so that you won't be able to see it and you'll just die randomly. <laughs> Keys have been added with doors that obviously can't be unlocked until you find the keys. Which and I think is key... amazing because we can finally have boss battles. Yeah, so like I was... Okay. Keys can be hidden inside of enemies, so mandatory boss battles. That's awesome. I can see people screwing around and putting a key inside of a boss battle, but having five other boss <laughs> enemies being in that room, so you have to fight off all of them. Which Bowser that... has the real key? Bowser has a real key, but why not defend yourself from four other Bowser Juniors? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that will be create more of a challenge. You can also hide them um, under pink coins, so you have to collect all the pink coins and the, co and the key can that... be unveiled. I was wondering if that's only for keys or if you can also I put other items. I think it's only for keys because they have the key symbol on the coin. But I think it would be cool because I've been making, uh, uh, taking a really long break from it, but the, this update's inspired me because that key stuff is kind of like stuff you'd find in maybe a dungeon in Legend of Zelda. Like keys. Oh yeah, there's going to be some super creative stuff that's coming out of this update. Because there's, there's things in Wind Waker where you have to collect these and like if... I don't know if they translate. They probably do. So you could go into another room and collect a key here, and then you have to go to the other area, collect another key to get the key, and then you can go and unlock the door and move on. Therefore, people who like to find shortcuts in my levels and beat them out of order, yay, now you'll have to actually beat them the way they're intended. Yay. So. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, the only thing they touched upon was super expert mode. Which I don't uh, even care for. I can't be expert mode as I it is. I can't. I died it 100 makes, times. It makes me angry. <laughs> yeah. 100, 100 lives and I still can't beat it. Yes. Six levels. If you beat the six levels, you get exclusive mystery mushroom costumes. Which, Yay. Xander, you're not going to be able to use Tetra. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I could use that for Wind Waker levels. But yeah. also the Wolf Link amiibo, that thing's coming out, or with yeah. the costume. Or you could just, you know, go and do the event and get it that way. But mm -hmm. I'm going to use my amiibo to get it because their levels that they make can be kind of difficult and I don't want to rage, even though it's not that hard. I'll just scan it in whenever my pre order comes in. Anyway. Yeah, and that update will be coming March 9th, so again That's next right. week. That's Wednesday. So. Alright. Brace yourself, Xander. Paper Mario Color Splash. <laughs> I. I want to like this game. I really do. Yeah, I. Man. Well, okay. Before, before so much... we go into the negative, let's talk about what was good. The graphics look amazing. For yeah, a Paper Mario game, good. it looks good. I, I, I'm still not a huge fan of the white outline surrounding the characters, but I can get over that. It still looks like a good game. Mm -hmm. The movement sort of reminds me of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door mm -hmm. with a little comp splash of Sticker Star, but I can get over that. Mm -hmm. It looks good. It looks like it's going to run well. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the main world they showed us wasn't that generic. Uh -uh. I mean, it wasn't it looked, Rogue Port it, kind of remi it reminded me a little bit of Rogue Port. With the whole... Yeah, just a little. But it was a lot more cartoony. Yeah. It was all great, honestly. 
Mm -hmm. Um, but that, but then you take a, a second glance at the at the trailer, just a, a little glance, and you start to notice things that are missing, um, such as badges, star pieces, shine sprites, FP, experience points, characters partners. other than toads. Yeah, where are our partners? Where? Why is there no leveling up mechanic? Well, okay, In fact, okay, I was, okay, okay. There's no. We have no evidence that there is no level up at this point. Or badges for that point, but the you okay? They showed Mario winning a fight, and you get rewarded with coins like sticker stars. Yeah. There is no level uh, up in this game. Well, we'll have so to So similarly wait. to sticker stars, in theory, you can skip every single enemy and go straight to the boss fights like you could in sticker stars, and that ruins the game. In fact, I was watching the trailer in slow motion, and I got to a point where they show off the paint cards in the inventory. It's literally just an inventory of your different cards, and you use them just like stickers. In fact, you pick up the cards outside a battle by hitting question blocks. At least it, you don't have these... to stop and, you know, peel them off the ground everywhere you go. You can just hit Yeah, your but at the same time, they... It's still, you still have a waiting time. I don't want to have to tap and hold the button to quote unquote paint it just to use the attack. It, it I don't know. I'm salty. I'm very salty. Yeah. Uh, I want to like this game. I really do. I wish they would listen. It's, I hate to say this, but Paper Mario is turning into the Sonic franchise where the creators don't listen to their fans. Like, no one wants this. Oh, well, actually, no, that's not true. Because I saw several reaction videos where people were like, Yeah, Paper Mario! I'm like, no. But those were ignorant fans. This we are just... we are the hardcore fans. I, I played Sticker Star. I'm still in the first chapter. Yeah, you still have my copy of it. I still have your copy, and it is <laughs> boring! I like, know, oh my god. The writing is and funny, I... but it's... It's not that it's just boring, but it's actually a pretty confusing and hard game when it comes to the puzzles because there is no direction to it. Yeah, it, it... And I can't say that that's going to be an issue with this game. I hope to God it's not because I want to at least finish the game I bought, I paid for. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, just everything about the game screams sticker stars. You have... You have the map. Uh, like, the map is the same. It is literally carbon copy. You have a paint bucket that follows you, like a paint bucket sticker, sort of like that crown sticker. Yep. You have that that thing sticker, like the fan that appeared. Um, yep. The fan. I mean, it's like they don't they don't listen to their fans. Yeah. I want to say the only way they could have made this game on accident, without knowing that people didn't like Sticker Stars, is if they started working on it as soon as Sticker Stars finished, and it was a, to the point where. Oh crap, everyone's hating on this game, but we're already this far in production. Yeah. Well, and if that's stickers, the case. When did Sticker Star come out? I wanna. I can go over the I don't know. 2012, 2013, I think. Oh, well, yeah. It's just. I picked I pick that game up for $20. No one buys it. Yeah. One thing I did find interesting from the trailer, if you look carefully at when Mario's running around the town, if you look up at like a bell tower or something at the top, you see there's a star, but it, it, like I know they had stars to finish the levels and sticker star, but if you look at this one, it looks like the red star from Super Mario Galaxy that let you fly. Like it, it, it looks identical. So, is Paper Mario gonna be? Able to you think Paper Mario is gonna be able to turn into like a paper airplane again? Uh, that'd be kind of cool. If they brought back transformations, that'd make me a little bit happy. Yeah, I mean, because it is a really great game, and but at the same time, it makes me wish for Paper Mario Thousand Door HD Remake even more. Because one thing I know, Paper Mario Sticker Star, it's on a handheld, and so handheld games, they're games that you can just pick up and play a little bit at a time. And so I mm -hmm. guess you have episodes in the game, and so you go over and you select, I want to play this episode, and you play through it, and then you close it and you go do something else. Where this is a console, and console game like thousand year door again. Uh, you had chapters, but 
They have they should have like save points and like yeah. Like there's so much potential for this game, but at this point, with it being already at its localization stage, mm -hmm. I think everything they showed us is everything they have to offer. I, I mean, when they said, I think it's coming out this summer, isn't it? I don't. They didn't get. They said 2016. Oh. Okay. But it's yeah, it's a spring summer release because that's what they said. All the games were spring and summer release. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it said through uh, games released through summer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which, oh boy, this is gonna be so fun to play over summer break. Yep, you'll have to talk about I guess we haven't is. really touched on this yet, but to talk about the game story, all we know is Paper Mario, Princess Peach, and Toad friends go to Prism Island, see it's drained of color, so Mario, uh, taking taking root of Super Mario Sunshine feels that he needs the need to bring the color back to the city. It's reverse Super Mario Sunshine. It really is. <laughs> and Splatoon, kind of. It reminds me of Splatoon a little bit. Oh yeah, Nintendo is thinking, oh, you see this Splatoon game? Oh my god, it's doing so well. Well, obviously it's because because, you know, childish colors. Let's throw that into Paper Mario. and We're gonna make money, money, money. Yeah. And it is... It looks cool. I mean, it looks good. I mean, it it doesn't make sense to me though because with Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, people praise it for such having. It such is an one of my favorite games story. of all time. Yeah, people love it because it has such an original story. You know, I I applaud, uh, what's it called, Color Splash for not having Bowser in it so far. So Princess far. Peach isn't <laughs> kidnapped. So far. But at the same time, we liked Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door because it created a conflict. You know, Mario is going to rogue for it, but then the conflict isn't created. It's not Mario goes to this town and there's no color. Oh, let's go bring the color back for some reason. Also, I want to know how um, not lively the town is, how barren it is. Like, you... Oh yeah, it's empty. I understand that's a joke, but it's empty. And if you want to create a game trailer that hooks people, you don't show the game looking empty. Well, I don't mind that, but I mean, if you're going to start out, I mean, who knows, maybe more people will show up. But one thing I loved about Paper Mario 1000 Door and the original, original characters that aren't Toad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, we I had, was about to mention that. Oh my gosh, the character, like, so many characters. You had the lottery guy in Thousand Year Door where if you mess with the game's calendar it oh, pretends yeah, to crash mom. your game mm -hmm. I'm like oh my gosh it's awesome you have uh, what was it is it Pep T or whoever the cooking lady is you have her mm -hmm. you have Zesty. the mafia you have the mafia in Mario which is awesome Frankie and uh, what's what's his what's her name uh, uh, Frankie and oh, I don't Frankie's know. Frankie's wife. Frankie and, and Francesca or something. Francesca, that's right. And you have the mob boss dad, uh, her her dad, and you have Luigi and the Waffle Kingdom. Oh, those are so yeah, fun. Yeah, where read. is Luigi? I know. And it's like Super Pip Mario. While it has its flaws, at least it brought a bunch of characters together and it had interesting characters. Like, with Sticker Stars, people gave it crap because it is just the Mushroom Kingdom people. You have Koopas, you have Goombas, you have Toads. Mm -hmm. This is looking like the same thing. I have not seen one original character that they can be like, oh, this is going to be your partner. You get to learn to know the partner like you had with Goombella. It's, it's like, the game had potential again it's a very good looking game yeah visually but it's so bland at the same time yeah and you have oh i could just go on and on about the characters you have that toad mm -hmm. like you can do something interesting with the toads like the uh the, the little kid toad and uh was it pedalberg yeah pedalberg where oh, you're yeah. talking he's like, i'm playing, playing fire, fire emblem. emblem and then yeah which we'll talk about in a minute and uh we, we had Fire Emblem, and then if you move on, he's like, uh... I've been playing Paper Mario. And then he's like, oh, I would just be Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door. I hear they're coming out with another game that has Luigi in it. And mm -hmm. then once you beat the game, he says that. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And you have all these characters. Xander, Xander, 
Xander, you don't know. Maybe that Toad will be here. I heard they aren't making another Paper Mario game. I heard this is the last one. No. Oh, no. Oh, don't know. I want a good Paper Mario. I want a Paper Rest Mario Thousand Year Door game, which I hope comes out for Virtual Console on the NX. That would be amazing. You know what? I just hope the NX supports GameCube Virtual Console, and I'll have the system in hand. Like, GameCube upscaled, or even better, they had that, they made that engine. I It'd know. be great if you could watch, uh, watch while well, play GameCube games in not only upscaled, but improved graphics. Yeah. Man, it'd be amazing. One can dream. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Alright, well, I've had enough rambling about Paper Mario. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing they mentioned, which was my Nintendo. Oh, yes! Not much to... Yeah, not much to say on this one. Um, Other than I have pre-registered for Mitomo and getting plat platinum points. Yes, Mitomo is coming out. Yes. Um, not much to say about that. <laughs> Yeah, the rewards program where you can redeem your points for store credits, which is actually really good, because yeah, I don't have um, money to spend right now. I was I was a little confused watching the direct because it says purchasing games, digital games, um, and playing apps. Yeah, will reward you points, not games, apps. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So is this like Android and iOS exclusive, or yeah, I think so. Is this yeah. hinting towards the NX being Android OS operating system, which could, is a rumor that's been around forever? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's uh, a few. They're coming out with apps, so playing mm, apps slowly. So well, we're getting Mitomo in a couple weeks, sometime in March. I just don't know how, a, if you can even call it a game like Mitomo. Is going to implement because that's supposed to be like some sort of social media app, yeah. right? It's gonna be the next Facebook, implement... guys. It's gonna be the next Facebook. It's gonna be like Facebook monetization, but instead of actual cash, they give you virtual points. Yeah, which it's gonna be so great. Maybe they'll release the uh, other Smash Brothers posters for like DLC characters and all that. You can buy another pack of those. I got my Rosalina. I would, I would get a Bayonetta poster so fast. <laughs> I got the those Rosalina. Look so ones. sick. Yeah. Cloud versus Link. Oh, yeah. But, uh... But, yeah, that's not much on my Nintendo. Yeah, they, they glanced over it and they said that they would talk about it sometime this month. Yeah. Whether that hints at another Direct, I don't know. Yeah. But... Alright, next up, though, after that they mentioned NES Virtual Console, which we already discussed about. But then, something I'm not very familiar with, Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. This, I know, uh, I'm gonna probably get, not for a while, because i still on birthrights, and then I have to be Conquest. Basically, Fire Emblem Fates is split up into three parts. You have Birthright, which is the easier version, which is the one I'm playing right now. Then there's Conquest, which is the more, like, traditional, kind of, more difficult version. And then... You pick a side where you pick uh, Hoshido, which is Birthright, or you pick uh, Nor, which is Conquest, but there's a third yeah, option. Yeah, so this game, you don't choose a side. Yeah, only, but people, some people already have this. It came in the, my friend Bailey, uh, he got... Yeah, so like if you order both games, it comes with it, right? Uh, if you order the special edition, it comes with a special case. Edition, yeah. It comes with a case for your 3DS, and I think a, maybe a little booklet, and... It has both all three versions, and so the only way to get it until now was the special edition. So, but yeah, basically you just choose the third side, and I'm not looking into it because I don't want spoilers. But <laughs> yeah, the yeah, Fates is a really fun game, the... and it's going to take me hours to beat this first game, and then I spend another probably 20 hours beating the next one, and then now I gotta get Revelations. So. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, for notes, all I wrote was reveals exclu secrets exclusive of the game, and you refuse to choose a side. Not familiar with Fire Emblem at all, but I, I want to start playing the series. It's really fun and interesting. Yeah, okay, after that, I felt I my heart ached for Nintendo when they started talking about Federation Force. <laughs> The guy, he generally seems like, this was, I've been working on the, this has been my childhood yeah, it was dream to make this game. 
Yeah, it was basically, no, 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 guys, guys, this is going to be a good game. It's good. Come yeah, on, guys. Yeah, it's, it's sort of Metroid. It's, I mean, Samus isn't in it, but it's like, sort of Metroid. I've never played a Metroid. I played the first level of Prime and then played Smash for Wii U. And, uh, but I, I played a little bit. I'm like, okay, it's, it's interesting. People don't hate me. I'm sorry. But, uh, from what I've seen, it is a complete change. It really... Well, I think it's great that we haven't played Metroid, um, because then we get to have a very unbiased opinion. Yeah. This game looks boring. Yeah, it looks it looks boring. I don't like... I think for what it's trying to do, like... Like, even in Smash Brothers, she's had a pretty, like, real... Like, as far as you can go, realistic sci-fi. But, uh... Like, her attacks, they're explosive, they're, like, oh, giant yeah. energy balls. This is Samus and cartoony. Zero Suit. Yeah, Samus and Zero Suit are one of the most interesting characters in the game. And they're, uh, they look real, like, I don't, I don't want to say realistic because it's freaking sci-fi, but it's, it, from what I've seen, it's, like, it's not cheerful. Like, they've got all these colorful explosions and all that and, and Federation Force, and I'm like, why yeah, are Metroid, you going for like a soul shaded style? Let's see. Yeah. I just don't understand the whole robot, you know, mechanism, whole, yeah. oh, we're gonna go out and beat the, the space pirates, so Samus. Like, when they showed off Samus in in the direct, Samus looked weird. Yeah. They showed off the Samus suit, and it looked odd. Yeah, she looked kind of blocky. I don't know, there's not much to say about this game other than I'm genuinely not excited for it. I'm... Like, it's just... Yeah. Like, with with the other games that I could care less about, this one... Because I don't... JRPGs, I don't... Could, I, could, I could care less for, but those look good. Yeah. This, I could care less for, and it's... And I don't see it selling well at all. Yeah, I mean... You know, games like Paper Mario, that's gonna sell because it's Paper Mario. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I might even buy it, and I I hate it right now. Yeah. But this, no one's gonna buy this game. And it, I would hate to say that Paper Mario and Federation Force and games like this, you know, Star Fox Zero, Mario and Sonic Ryu Olympics, I would hate to say that these are gonna be the last of their franchise and that the Wii U's gonna kind of die with it. I don't think but they're gonna be the last of franchise. Star Fox, I think, is going to be a big game. I, 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 they can't get rid of Star Fox. It's one of their big games. Even if I would his hope, biggest I mean, games I'm are just, Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping to see some sort of new Star Fox game. It's a new story. And new well, that, that's kind of what this is. It's it's a big twist. Yeah, it looks very similar to Star Fox. The structure is new. They, yeah. they word it in such a way to say the structure is new. It's the yeah. same thing, though. Yeah. But uh, it's kind of, they're kind of riding the nostalgia train for that game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Federation Force, though, generally seems like such a fail. Yeah. In, it, considering this guy seems very passionate about it, I would have loved to see that passion go toward a Metroid Prime Wii U game instead of a Federation Force 3DS mm -hmm. game. Yeah. And I, I, I get we have so many games very similar to Federation Force. We've got... One game we'll be talking about coming up, Monster Hunter Generations. And uh, mm -hmm. we also have uh, that Final Fantasy Explorers game. We have the other Monster Hunter games where you get together and you take on giant monsters. And, I mean, that's fun, but it's kind of getting old. I mean, there's only so much you can do with that. Where you're just taking on giant monsters in teams of four and... Like, oh, here's the Metroid version, here's the Final Fantasy version. Um, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, kind of find it being overdone. This was their Nintendo's big chance to show off the game and show the changes they'd made, but we didn't even get to see a boss battle. Yeah. I mean, this game just looks so cut and paste and dry and bland. Mm -hmm. And I don't... I don't know what they could have done, honestly. This guy felt like he was doing the right thing. When he got the backlash, all he's doing is defending himself. He's not really making any changes to the game itself. Yeah. 
Well, Taking it from a less um, depressive note, you did mention um, Monster Hunter. I did. I don't know much about Monster Hunter, but if you would like to share your thoughts about it, that'd be cool. I've played it. It's it's pretty fun. I just I can't I can't get into it like the big fans like. It takes a long time of grinding one monster to make a bunch, make a really strong weapon, and I just don't want to do the same thing over and over again. But people enjoy so it. So would you it's say an amazing? Would game. you say that you're excited for Monster Hunter Generations? I am. It, it looks. I like what they're doing. Apparently, this is the most customizable. You can play as cats, and we got Fire Emblem DLC coming. And I don't know if the. Uh, well, okay, this game is called Monster Hunter Cross in Japan. And mm-hmm. uh, that's cool. And we didn't we didn't know if it was coming to America or not, but it's coming to America now yeah. as Monster Hunter Generations. So it's got a name change, which cool. <laughs> but I know uh, there was a Toon Link costume for one of the cats where you could basically play as Toon Link. And <laughs> oh yeah, I remember seeing those trailers. They look weird. I know. And uh, but. Yeah, it's it's pretty neat, and I uh, guess. Uh, yeah, speaking of, um, there's not much to say though. Yeah, I know. I know your brother's gonna love the game. My, yeah, Miles is gonna be getting it. <laughs> it's. I mean, uh, I think. I think, Monster Hunter games are one of the best looking games on the 3DS. They do a great mm-hmm. job at making them. And they they um, found a really good home on the Nintendo consoles because they. They were on like iPad, which no, don't 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 play that one. And they were on uh, I think <laughs> PSP, one of them. But 3DS, they really found a home on 3DS and Wii U. Mm-hmm, definitely. Mm-hmm. Another game that got ported, localized, and ported over to North America was Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. Yes! Oh, I saw this which... game in Japan, and I won it. Yeah, so to give a little overview, I don't have much notes about it because, I mean, it's a Rhythm Heaven game. Yeah. Uh, 100 levels, 70 of which are from previous titles. Which is... But the kicker is um, some of those levels are going to be included from the GBA title, which never got released in North America. Yeah. So, really, if you look at it, half the game's going to be new and half the game's just going to be ported from, you know... Which I don't um, mind because it has some of my favorite games from the original, or all not the original, the DS and the uh, Wii version, which I love the Wii version. Oh yeah, the Wii version's fun. The DS version's a hot in my opinion, but yeah, the Wii version is definitely very good. Yeah. But I'm So I'm yeah, excited. that's something that's something to look forward to. I did not expect to see Rhythm Heaven in the direct. It was always mm-hmm. in the back of my mind, obviously, watching Game Explain to discuss about it and Ash getting all excited. Um, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't expect it to be released, but it is, and that's great. Yeah. All right. I would say this is the last big announcement that Nintendo made. <clears throat> last, save the last, best for last. Um, Kirby Planet Robobot. Yes. I kind of excited well okay i'm not sure about the robots i mean okay cool haven't we done watching that before? watching kirby in the mech suit reminded me so much of dr eggman in Sonic <laughs> it, Man does. Too. it does it's 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 interesting like it reminded me more of tails because it's so out of place it is out of place i was like what <laughs> robots okay why not I think it's cool, though. I think I mean, it's cool. The fact that you can change different modes, which basically, you know, copy enemies' abilities while he's in the mech suit. Mm-hmm. It's not just a robot suit. At least you have some sort of different types of gameplay styles. Yeah. I mean, it which was... Which is always good. But the thing that really got me excited was the amiibo capabilities. I mean, some of it, but... <laughs> some of it, yeah. So uh, one in particular. Tap in Mario, you get the fire ability. I've never seen that before, That's except amazing. for in like. I would have liked other... it if they actually gave you the Mario ability, where you could shoot like, fire. Just give him a Mario hat. Like, and, and Link. I mean, what else could you do? Give him the archer ability. Well, considering that Kirby is in a game with all the Smash Brothers characters, you would think that they might have been able to give him copy abilities that look like the Smash Brother ones. I know. But... But speaking of Smash Brothers, the new Kirby Ami- uh, the Smash Brothers Kirby amiibo 
gives you, which apparently um, it's not as exciting anymore, but uh, apparently in Kirby the Amazing Mirror, there was a boss you could inhale. It was Master Hand. And if you did it, it gave him his moveset from, I think, Melee. And this time around, we have his moveset from, I, I think, Smash 4. But it's basically yeah, up B, sense. down B, all your special moves. And so, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, along with it is the, the new wave of Ami- Amiibo. Yeah, we got Kirby, Kirby Meta Knight, Meta Knight, King Dedede, and Waddle Dee. Yep. So. And they, I like, I like it. I mean, it's cute. It's gonna sell well. They're gonna make money. Good for Nintendo. Yeah. And I might get it. I still want to get triple deluxe, but. They mentioned this really early in the trailer, but they, I don't know exactly how this is gonna work, but. Bill had mentioned that the gameplay takes place in both the foreground and background. Um, oh, yeah. So I guess just like, I think they similar... did that in Triple Deluxe as well. Yeah. So, so cool. yeah, I guess. Yeah. The last thing I can mention about the game, though, is Team Kirby Clash, which oh, yeah. just seems like a boring mini game, honestly. I know. Like, I like the idea that they did in uh, the Kirby trip uh, was it Kirby Fighter Deluxe which I have but mm-hmm. which I need apparently yet to have another person with the game to actually do multiplayer I, I thought you could just do online but no but you can fight other Kirby's that was fun which I was hoping they'd bring that back but no yeah so this is almost like the opposite you team up with people to beat the boss battles yeah and I, again, I'm not too familiar with Kirby. This sounds like it could be fun, but I've, at the same time, it's nothing game breaking. Yeah, I've always held a, a spot for Kirby in my heart. I, I like it. It's, I played. Uh, it, was, it was a couple of years ago where I just played through all the Kirby games. I played. Uh, I played a little bit of uh, the Amazing Mirror or whatever it's whatever it was. I played. Uh, I played Superstar Ultra and 100%ed it, which that was hard. And then I played uh, uh, Squeak Squad, I think it was. And I played um, Mass Attack. And would, no, don't play Mass Attack. <laughs> and I played uh, Return to Dreamland. And that's about as much. I played Crystal. I beat Crystal Shard as well way back when I had my Wii, or my original Wii. And I played so much Kirby Air Ride when I was younger. That was one of my favorite games, and thank you, Sakurai, for that game. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I, I, I really do like Kirby, and it's fun. Uh, and that's really just how they ended the direct. They, yeah, it was Kim um, Bill was just like, all right, see you guys. Yeah, a lot of people thought they were going to announce Earth ba- uh, Mother 3 at the end, but... I know. Nope. But no. We, I'm not bummed we got because I've never played Earthbound, but we kind of got spoiled with Smash Brothers. How there was always a trailer at the end. But Smash Brothers is over now. No, there are no balance patches coming out. So <laughs> people keep saying that. I'm like, no, Sakurai said he's done. No more balance patches. He's went and Sakurai's saw Star Wars. on vacation. We're not going to be getting Wolf. <laughs> Silence. But. Yeah. Until Smash yeah, MX was... comes out, then we'll get Ice Climbers. Yeah, I am so hyped for E3 this year. It's going to oh, be awesome. It's going to be awesome. And we're going to get... Finally going to see the NX. I mean, honestly, we could... I would, We could do an entire discussion about rumors with the NX, but... Yeah. I'm just so curious. I really hope it doesn't suck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's sort of a pattern, though. We had, we had the, uh, well, past the 64, we had Good System, 64, GameCube, not so good. Then we had the Wii, which was amazing. Now we have the Wii U, not so amazing. So hopefully, yeah, I wouldn't say there's really a strong pattern. Hopefully the pattern. pattern continues. But yeah, all we can do is hope right now, so. Mm-hmm. Well, well, I think that's about it. <laughs> We went over the entire mm-hmm. direct. We had we skipped over some other things like 
You know, there's this one game that was basically Mega Man, where you beat bosses and took their abilities and used them against other bosses. But I don't even remember what it was called. But we took we we went over to the big things. So, yep. Any last things yeah, you want to say? <laughs> yeah. So all in all, like we had said at the beginning, a very okay direct. Mm -hmm. Star Fox was cool. Paper Mario. Rhythm Heaven was cool. Uh, Honestly, that's about it. Kirby was okay. That big, yeah, Kirby was good. I mean, Kirby was Kirby. a highlight, I would say. Kirby was, I mean, yeah, they're trying something new. Who knows, it might be amazing. In comparison to everything else, Kirby was a very unexpected good announcement. Yeah. But, I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, all in all, good direct. Okay direct. Kind of wish they didn't reveal a couple things, but... Yeah. I could have I could have uh, gone without Paper Mario Color Splash, but... Yeah. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this discussion, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for hopefully more discussions in the future. I don't know if yeah. we plan on doing more of these. Yep, if there's stuff to talk about, we'll, we'll do more of these. Oh yeah, this this year in particular, once the NX is coming out, I'm sure we'll have a lot of Oh online. yes. But yeah. So yeah, if you guys like this discussion, like I said, make sure to drop a like, leave some feedback in the comments section, and... We hope to see you guys again on this channel. Yes. Well, this is Cenos the Painter and Ian the Merman. And we are signing off. You have a good evening, guys. You too.